Greetings and salutations, exiles. So I put together a little bit of content. I originally did a video back in April of 2019, so almost six months ago, where I discussed uh, thrall cages and their functionality. And actually, I've done a series of videos trying to figure out how to cheese them and get them to work with the existing wood uh, thrall cages that exist. And I thought it was funny because they went through and they did a, a rebalance of material cost with the thrall cages, but they didn't actually put a functionality of the current uh, wood thrall cages that exist. So, I you know I think if they flush this out a little bit more, it would greatly uh, improve gameplay and depth of gameplay and also immersion and give it a actual functionality. So here, I've just gotten some generic uh, iron iron banded. Uh, cages that I've you know did a, a Google search on to get an idea of what that would look like or a good representation of it and they already have a, a graphic similar to this with the the uh, reinforced gates and reinforced doors and hatches so they could just reuse that skin to make these thrall cages and the functional use that I I use them for now is I just use four door frames and then put my dancer thralls in there so when my base gets raided, it's another degree of protection for my, my dancer thralls. So that way they, they, there's a little bit more standoff, but then there's that passive area effect ability that the dancer's thrall project. But back to the original topic. So it would basically work out to where um, the new rework or thrall cage rework is how they would have a degree of functionality is they would have basically two types. One type is you could actually place an active thrall already in, like the dancer that I described below. The other version of the thrall cage is the, you actually, they're placeholders. So you have your Wheel of Pain and it's already loaded up and you don't want to build five or six Wheels of Pain because, you know, because I like to use the small ones because I don't want a big base. The, your betas, best protection in the game is not having anybody know where your base is at. And if you can hide your base, you know, sing, single animal pens, uh, for the small uh, wheels of pain, all of that stuff to keep that size down. And that also helps with the, the server performance as well because if you're spamming thrall wheels and you have that stuff everywhere and you're loud and proud, um, it's, that's a server load and a lot of upkeep and a lot of maintenance. And I, I try to keep the small, you know, that's why I have a whole bunch of videos on like tiny buildings or tiny houses to just try to keep those footprints down and, you know, be, be, be kind of off the grid, small and, and that's like, like those two story and three story, uh, uh, towers that I build. And so the advantage of this is it can be placeholder. So as you as you find your thralls uh, and you drag them back to your back to your base, uh, you can load them up in the the cage, and it's got the slots like the the uh, wheel of pain does. And then you place them in there, and from there, once your thralls become available, then you can drag them over to the actual wheel of pain, and then start that timer on the wheel of pain. And that gives it a secondary functionality to the thrall cages. They're basically like an ice box, or this. It would borrow this same mechanic as an ice box. How you put your your pups and your um, eggs in the ice box, and it it uh, slows down the timer. It kind of works to that same functionality. Of course, this is up to the developers on how they want the visual appearance to look and how they want the uh, graphics to look, and I'm, I'm not trying to dictate any of that, but this is just a kind of a general idea, kind of um, uh, trying to kind of get the, the creative juices flowing and speak to, uh, you know, problem solving and, um, you know, the benefits and attributes of reworking the system like this is it would be uh, increased immersion, uh, smaller server footprint, um, and then overall gameplay experience and uh, fleshing out existing systems that are already that are already in place. And uh, you know, if they spend the time and do this right, they can use these systems 
on future projects. So I, you know, I know they, they want to manage their resources on the exiles, but I think that's the wrong approach. I think the, the, the correct approach is if they flesh out these systems, like the lighting rework that I talked about with torches, they, that, that could easily be packaged and modulated and implemented into future projects. And I think that's the way to look at this is flesh out modular products uh, modular systems that can be uh, plug and play, you know, so like a good uh, storage solution, right? So th there needs to be a rework on a storage solution. And I'll, I'm going to do that video uh, later on in a similar format to this. But the the thrall cages, you know, I, basically a two tier system where you have your wood tier, uh, your tier one, which is your wood tier, a lower hit point, kind of they can reuse those assets they already have in the game. And then the tier two would be the iron band and stuff. They would have to uh, kind of not necessarily create from scratch, but they'd have to rework some of those assets based off textures and models. They they already have uh, like those doors and, and gates that they've been building. They would have to use those models and textures. But um, that's, that's just an idea that I wanted to kind of project forward and see if I get the community to back me up and, and this thought process. You know, it's so really important that we have an active voice on the forums. And, uh, you know, if there's an idea that you like, make sure that you chime in and uh, put some feedback. You don't have to agree or disagree with me or if you have your own version of this. Uh, feel free to, you know, because criticism and creative thought, and con it's constructive and it drives positive change. As always, uh, thank you for watching.